What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Steve Feels Like Absolute Garbage. I was um, working on the door last night till 2am. I've kind of half lost my voice. But the weather's glorious and I've got the chopper as you can see outside behind me. It's ready to go to paint or at least parts of it are. I'm going to be sending the frame to get media blasted. But in the meantime, Robert Dread Effects has kindly said he will begin work on uh, a couple of the other parts that have been sprayed in black like the front wheel. I've got a bike trailer that's going to be used for uh, towing my paddle ball to the beach in the summer among other useful things but it's also going to be a great way to display his artworks so yeah whilst the weather's out and the sun's out I'm just going to literally crack on and uh, get this thing stripped and hopefully catch up with Rob this evening late this afternoon Five seconds in, I've nearly killed myself. Right, guys, so it's looking good. I've got the got the forks off. There's not a lot really to come off of it now. Just the uh, crank arms, the chain, and there's a um, headset bearing underneath. It looks like it's a little bit pressed in, maybe. So I'm going to have a little mess around. If I can't get the bits off now, it's Sunday at three o'clock. I don't know if I'll be able to get down to a bike shop. Get them to help us with the last bits if I ain't got the tools for the bottom bracket, but last little attempt at smashing a few bits off myself. Right, same so messing about, I'm gonna pack all this stuff away, try and get the frame on the roof of my car. Don't even know if that's possible without wheels on the bike rack. Uh, head down to the bike shop and just get them to help with the last couple of bits. Um, they've got better chain remover tools and bottom bracket tools. I'm not gonna mess around, so yeah, let's head down. Right, so just down at Les's Cycles with uh, the proper tool for doing the job. Hopefully it won't go too badly. Was it a bottom bracket? Some sort of special bottom bracket puller tool? Yeah, yeah crank puller. Crank puller, which I didn't have, I don't think. I'm not sure if I've got that or not. Yeah, no, I don't think I have. So, yeah, good job I'll come down there. We just missed a cool bit of footage where half of the bottom bracket shot out and hit something in the shop. Okay, sweet. What type of bottom bracket is on this? It's an old, old fashioned threaded tile. You can know you basically want to do that. That just yeah, turns and screws yeah. out. As long as the frame's got a good thread, then yep, same, we're same good thing. to go. I don't care about replacing. Um, yeah. The, the, you see, that is perfect. Oh, that is fantastic news. There we go. Nice. All right, cool. New bearings, it'll go again. Really? All oh, right, okay. Yep. I'll keep all the bits in a box or a bag or something yep. then. And it's done. Look at that. Oh, he was pointing out as well, quality of uh, Mark from Kinsey Fabrications welding. Look at that, now you can see that on the inside of that brake caliper mount. He does do quality work. That frame's ready, isn't it? There's nothing left on it. That can go straight to the, um, yeah, straight to the plaster. Did the uh, bottom bearing come out kind yeah, of all right? Easy. Sweet. Little, 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 last little bag of parts. So the only thing I've got to change is that. Yeah, you I've got, gone. Yeah, you haven't got to change it. But just getting it off again will be hard. Okay, the thread's not completely. No, it will, it will go again. It's just taking it back off. Right. So, so what is it? The thread near is just yeah, a little bit. Which you use only to extract the clink. Oh, so if I get it on just the once and it's not really coming off, then. Yeah, that'd be fine. Sweet. All right. Fair enough. Maybe I'll just reuse it then. Happy days. Sweet. We are ready for the sandblasters, thanks to uh, Leslie Cycles on Canby Island. Now we're going to head back, take the bike and the frame, which is looking perfectly ready for the sandblasters. Right guys, welcome back. So I'm back with Rob at Dread FX, and we've brought the bike trailer up here and the front wheel, which needs paint in black. That's going to be the first half of the project that Rob's going to do for the channel in conjunction with Dude Stuff. Don't forget to check out his channel, Dread FX, on YouTube. Um, you'll be seeing all the customization work on his channel first. So if you're interested in seeing that and getting a sneak peek before what you see on my channel, don't forget to subscribe to Dread Effects. Um, behind me we've got, what have we got? We've got, we got them two wheels there. They're, for the, uh, they're off the bike trailer, which we're going to have no chrome on the colour scheme. 
and we've got the front wheel which needs doing in black. Everything's going to be either in single colour or black. There's going to be no chrome on the colour scheme that we've picked. So basically all we're going to do now is build up this little bike trailer. Hopefully it's fairly straightforward to get an idea what we can do with side panels and basically instead of having this rubbish kind of cloth material around it we want to have some solid sides and also use it to give some kind of customization work featuring some of Rob's amazing airbrushing techniques. <laughs> no going back now. No. <laughs> So what do you reckon then guys? I think this is, um, now it's, we've taken all that horrible material stuff off the edge, it actually looks, it's a pretty cool little thing, isn't it? It's um, just need some panels or end pieces. So you can see what we're doing here now. Now that we've stripped it down, you can see those chrome wheels are not gonna work. We just want everything black on this trailer, which is gonna leave us with some nice edges to do some sick portrait oh, work yeah. and artwork which would be great because you can really, for the first time on a bicycle, show off a decent amount of uh, some of Rob's work. So yeah, we're just looking over it now, figuring out how we can make our own side panels. We're having a discussion about whether we need these bumper bars to cover the wheels, which we probably do. They're not the most sightly looking things, but they're not terrible. Don't know though, I'm still debating whether, I'm still debating Rob whether we just lose them because they look a bit shit. <laughs> just have the wheel. They clip off easy enough though, didn't they? So that could be a afterthought of them guessing. Yeah. Yeah, they're just removable. The wheel, the wheel obviously goes inside that, but it does look a bit shit. That's it without. You just have, yeah, you can see as Rob's kindly demonstrating there. I guess he's saying that I can just, they're quick release, aren't they? So they're very easy to put on or off. So I could try with and without. As long as they don't catch the wheel on a lamppost or anything. <laughs> with my dog in the back. <laughs> Could be a bit disastrous, but it looks a bit like a bumper car with them things on. I don't really like them, if, to be honest. Um, yeah, cool. So we're going to have a little discussion now about what we're doing, but I'm going to leave it mostly on to your video to uh, discuss all the, all the sick things that's going to be done. Yeah. 